Yannick, challenge, game, one hour, ten minutes, one minute. Challenge accepted. But before that, previously. Also, at 70 subs, I will do an atom reveal, an atom reveal, an atom reveal. So here it is. Enough of that, now let's get to work. For the one hour game, I started off as usual by making a new project in Unity. Then I made a list on Trello for the stuff I had to add and to stay completely organized and efficient. Because that's what I am, Mr. Efficiency. Then I quickly drew out the models I needed for the game on a piece of paper and later in Photoshop. Since this car took me too long to make, I'm gonna use a bit of deceit. And it's done! Aha! But you didn't even notice that I fooled you. Stupid. Next up, I drew the backdrop in exactly 5 seconds. Ha! Tricked you again. I didn't actually use 5 seconds, but 5 minutes, cause I'm dumb. Now I'm drawing the goal. Oh, and if I forgot to mention, I was making a 2D Rocket League. And if you don't know what Rocket League is, then you're dumb. But lucky for you, I believe in enlightening the illiterate. So I'm gonna tell you what it is. Rocket League is basically football with cars. If by now, after one and a half minute into the video, you still don't know what I'm doing, well, I'm trying to make a 2D Rocket League in one hour, 10 minutes, and one minute. Let's see how that goes. As you can see, in the one hour version, I only have 20 minutes left now, because I spent 40 minutes doing the art for my game, because I'm done. So that means I have 20 minutes left to add movement, the basic game mechanics, physics, and score to the game. Yeah, should be a walk in the park. If that park was on fire and full of dementors who sucked the life out of you. Sorry, I got a bit off track there. Going back to the game, which is the sole reason this video was made, and not just to share my life problems, or because I was lonely. I had imported my work in Unity, and added colliders, so that the cars and the ball stay within the premises. Um, I may have shown that about 30 seconds ago when I was talking about dementors and loneliness. So, uh, sorry? Here, I'm writing the code for the car movement, which is pretty simple and tiny brain stuff. So I'm not gonna explain it, but here is how it looks in action. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Then I added some physics to the ball, and it should uh, work now. Nope, 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 it does not work. I still have to make it bounce. And um, it should work in about... Mm, okay, load, load, mm, now. Perfect. Now that the cars are moving and the ball is bouncing, we need goals. Because football has goals. Unless it's a draw. So let's make some goals. Oh no, the sound of failure. I couldn't finish the goal system in time. Who would have thought? But lucky for me, I'm a cheater, so I added 5 minutes to my time. And here's how the finished game, the game finished, looks. I can confidently say that this is nothing like Rocket League, and so I succeeded in my plan. While we wait for this sorry gameplay to end, I would just like to say goodbye to all the viewers who don't watch the whole video. So about 100% of my viewers. Before moving on, let's say hi to Mr. Efficiency again as I made a list for what to do in the 10 minute and 1 minute games. Then I made a project in Unity, yada yada yada, boring stuff, let's go on. And back to the art. As you can see, I started off by drawing the car first. But Trummy, that's not a guy, that's a caterpillar. Shit, shit, shit. Then I drew the ball. Followed by the ground, or whatever this is. I then exported the art into Unity. For this 10 minute game, I made a single player game where one person just shoots the ball into the goal. So I worked on adding the movement, the rigid bodies, the colliders, everything that most of you want to understand. While we wait, let me entertain you with my lovely voice. I'll climb every mountain and swim every ocean just to be with you. And my time is over. And here's how it ended up. Whew, breathtaking. Now, it's the moment you've been waiting for, the one minute game. As you can see, the preparation is already high, as the timer is improved. Because now, I actually need to look at the time. 
So I gave myself 20 extra seconds because I needed to switch between Visual Studio Code and Unity in my OBS because it sucks. So yeah, the first 20 seconds-ish, I've been writing the code for movement, which I just copy-pasted off my past two projects. Here you can see my accuracy and speed in typing. Now let us wait for a while. Now let's go on. So with 20 seconds left on the clock, I'm in Unity now. And I'm making the sprite. And I'm adding a rigid body to it. And time is up. But we will ignore that. Because I'm a cheater, as established earlier. So I'm making the boundaries now. Which will take me another 20 seconds because I'm slow and I'm dumb. I'm adding the boundaries. My ball looks perfect. Finally, I added the physics material which will enable the bouncing of the ball. And after 46 extra seconds, this is what I got. Smoking. So, after 1 hour and 11 minutes on paper, but 2 hours in actuality, the challenge is complete. I honestly had a blast in uh, doing this challenge. So, I'd like to thank Yannick for this, and I'd like to nominate anyone who watches my video to, um, yeah, challenge yourself. So thanks for watching and bye-bye.